Hey guys, girls, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install the one block sky block that everybody likes, the one that you see on YouTube for the 1.18.2 version, which is kind of harder to find, but hey, I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to install it and you'll be fine, you'll be set, okay? Let's get right into the tutorial. For step number one, we're going to click the first link in the description of this video, which will bring you to the website of the creator of this mod pack or world or safe, whatever you wanna call it. And we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find the version that we want to download. As you can see down here, the 1.18 18.2 doesn't show. So what do you do when the 1.18.2 doesn't show? Simple, easy, download 1.16.4. Okay, go ahead and click on 1.16.4 and then scroll down right here until you see download the map. Click on download the map and that is going to bring you back over here and here we're going to click download okay make sure that you click on 1.16.4 because you don't want to download an older version in order for this to work with 1.18.2 we need the newest version in this website so go ahead and click on download and that is going to bring you over here in here again we're going to click 1.16.4 and that is going to bring you over here where in three seconds the download will start automatically okay so we can see down here in the bottom left the download has started let's wait for that to finish downloading now that the file has fully downloaded we're going to put it on a safe spot okay Okay, I'm going to put it on my desktop. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it on your downloads folder. You can put it anywhere you want. I'm going to drop it on my desktop just for easier use and safekeeping. And now we could close this website. Okay, we could close the website as for now. Now go ahead and launch Minecraft Launcher. Okay, your regular Minecraft Launcher. I know many of you that follow the channel. You might be using CurseForge. Do not use CurseForge. We're going to use regular Minecraft for this mod pack to work. I mean, it's not really a mod pack. It's like a world. Okay, but let's go ahead and open it. As you can see, I'm using Optifine. If you want to learn how to install Optifine so you can run it with shaders, go ahead and click on that video it should be coming up on the top anyways we're not going to use optifine because i'm assuming you just have regular minecraft so go ahead and select your latest release 1.18.2 and before you click play we're going to go to installations right here we're going to find that latest release and go ahead and click on this folder right here, which is going to open the installation folder for the game. In here, we want to find a folder called saves, okay? As you can see right here, we have saves, and in here, we have all the worlds that we have played on our game, okay? Now, there's a slight chance that this folder might be called worlds instead of saves. Usually, if you're running a server, the folder is called world instead of saves. Anyways, if this folder is not here, because I know some of you might not have this folder, go ahead and right click and create a saves folder. Make sure it's named S-A-V-E-S, -E saves, and that's it go ahead and open that folder and in here we're going to drop this file right we're going to drop the world that we downloaded go ahead and drop it in as you can see i have many other worlds do not mind those right now the one that matters is the one block this one right here right you could go ahead and right click that and go ahead and extract it right and you could click extract here if these options don't come up you might have an option that says unzip right unzip file go ahead and unzip that file if you want these options to come up to have these little books in there you need to download winrar i could never pronounce that WinRare. To download WinRare is super easy. Go ahead and click on that second link in the description, which will bring you over here and just click on this blue button right here. And that is going to automatically start the download. Just follow the installation process as normal. And that's it. You're set. Anyways, going back over here, let's say that you're using WinRare or that you're just going to unzip it with the Windows default application. You right click, you click extract here, right? And that is going to create a folder, a new folder. As you can see, it was created right here. And the folder should have all of this inside. If by any chance, when you open that folder, there is another folder in there and that folder is containing all these files you need to get those files out of there and they need to be inside the first folder right what you need to have is pretty much a folder inside saves that as soon as you open it you see all of this data data packs region all of that once we have all of that we can finally close this folder and launch minecraft through our launcher latest release 1.18.2 go ahead and launch it and let's check it out let's see if it works so as we can see once we open minecraft we're going to click on single player and in here we should find our one block world if it doesn't come up on the first worlds it might be in the bottom just scroll down and as you can see i have another one down here which is the one i just made for the tutorial but that's pretty much the way to play as you can see if i click play on it it's going to start loading up the data and it's just a normal world i'm not going to jump cut right here so you can see that it loads up like a normal normal world there we go we're pretty much in the world as you can see if we break this block if by any chance you're having any issues with this world it might be that you have to update java 8 to java 18 if you don't know how to do that don't worry i got you pretty simple process go ahead and click on that third link in the description which will bring you to this website to download java 18 scroll down until you find java 18 click on it and make sure you select the windows right here and then download x64 installer click on this link right here and that is going to immediately start the download as you can see once i click on it immediately started the download in the bottom left we're going to wait for that to download and then we're going to click on the installation for java 18 why because minecraft 18 
runs in Java 18. Simple as that. Let's go ahead and wait for this installer to be ready. And as we can see, we get that little cop in there. We click on it and we just wait for it to launch. It's going to ask you for administrator's permission. That's why my screen went black. You don't see that because the stream laps doesn't pick it up. As you can see, it says that it has already been installed on my computer, but most likely for you, it won't be there. I'm going to click yes to reinstall it. Why not? It's never bad to reinstall it. And let's just reinstall it. Let's just let's just wait for it to finish. It's going to bring you over here to this installation windows, which is pretty much a normal installation like any other software. Go ahead and click next, next, next until it starts installing. It shouldn't take that long. Let's just wait for that to finish. And once Java 18 has been installed, it's going to show you this right here. You could go ahead and click close. Now you're almost done. You don't want to go back to the game just yet. What we need to do is go ahead and close the website and go to add or remove programs because we need to get rid of the older, older version of Java. Go ahead and click search list. And in here, you're going to type Java. And this is the only thing that should come up. If by any chance you have Java 8 installed, you need to delete Java 8 in order for Java 18 to be the main Java when running any other game. Just install Java 18, get rid of the older Java, and you could finally launch Minecraft again and try the world. And you should be good. You should be up and running. Anyways, that is it for today's tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe. Why not? Since you're here. And as always, bye bye.